go. Hello everybody, welcome back. We are time to continue the Mirage video. There was a little bug going around and I was a little bit worried that it would cause my game to crash. Even though there weren't any... I wasn't sure exactly what the bug was, but I just knew it was causing my game to crash. So, I took a little bit of days off. Just to, like, ensure that the game would crash. Gotta move around a little bit. Get myself a little more comfortable. I'm doing this while lying in bed, of course. We are... We're gonna finish up these prequel quests, but then as soon as we get to the Mirage... As soon as I actually unlock the Mirage here, get to that first prequel area, quest for the first prequel area, that's when I'm gonna the video and actually start going, okay, now it's, this is all just a bunch of prequel stuff, and there we go. I don't know why, I'm just gonna continue on this one and then have my ice wizard port because I'm lazy. So lazy, so very, very dark cave, dark cave. What the? What the heck just happened? The sound went. For some reason, my computer just dimmed in brightness for. Uh, heck? Why, why is this happening? Why does this keep happening? What the hell? Am I touching something on my computer that's making the light go down? I don't think so. So I don't know what's going on with my computer where it's making my entire screen dim. Maybe I should grab the charger. Because Okay, so... <sighs> it's been so long since I... Well, I guess not really, because I've been doing a another wizard on here. This is so disorientating because what the way I'm playing it, the ice wizard's on top and the fire wizard's on the bottom, but then I'm looking at the actual recording screen and the ice wizard's on bottom and the fire wizard's on top. Memories of tragedy and triumph wash over you as you enter the home of your former nemesis. Portraits and keepsakes remind you that this was not just Malastare's house, but Sylvia Drake's as well. 
Oh, this looks just like the dead death house. Kinda, but less dead. I think. You feel like more better lit. a sense of foreboding when you look at the door at the back of the hall. It's probably worth investigating. of the home have been transformed into a sanctum of undeath. They now smell of corpse candles and a deep, frustrated emptiness. And now I've got to edit this wizard's deck. A dark spirit uh, appointed sorry. by Master Necromancer to protect his work still maintains its vigil. You must defeat it to proceed. This is gonna be fun to see what happens. Just boost my power against him. I didn't even look at how much health this guy had. It can't be that much because my wand did enough. It was only about... Only 3,000, that's not that much. But they got piercing, so it doesn't still... Oh, this guy's got almost a hundred percent pierce, I think. Something along those lines. This isn't gonna do anything, but... Better to do something than nothing. Okay, that guy had like no resist on him at all. Oh my god. Still no shadow pet. Finally. And now you're dead. Are you good too? That's gonna hurt.
with the Spectral Guardian defeated, you can now explore deeper into Malastare's Sanctum. I'm just wait for my ice wizard to finish it up. Across the room, you see Malastare's desk. Here he sat, feverishly searching old tomes for a way to bring Sylvia back. On the desk, open to the page where Malastare left it, lies what appears to be a journal. You should read it for clues. As you begin reading the journal, you can almost hear Malastare's voice. My efforts to resurrect Sylvia have met no success, but I've heard of a mysterious group of scholars called the Cabal. They may know a way. This cabal lives up to its reputation. They communicate through a masked agent who goes only by the initials G and D. Nervous as it makes me to deal with this cabal, they claim to have the answers I seek. What choice do I have? I meet them tonight. In exchange for information, the cabal demands I give them the eye of history. They plan to take it to the world of Mirage. I know not why. I am conflicted. I fear what the Cabal's intentions in Mirage may be. But I've come too far to turn back now. I made the exchange. The secret to resurrecting Sylvia lies within an ancient tome known as the Croconomicon. To Crocotopia I go. You close the journal and place it in your backpack. Headmaster Ambrose needs to see this. So it's you, the Headmaster's little pet. Been a long time, but I always knew we'd cross paths again. You've grown in power. I have too. My associates now make Ambrose look like a hedge wizard. Perhaps you've heard of the Cabal? They have agents everywhere, even Wizard City. I'm gonna just go change my deck really quickly from my fire. Okay, there's like three of those. Huh. Just wanna put three in. There we go. After this, I'll be a full fledged member. See, they detected an intruder here and sent me. That journal's not going anywhere. Neither are you. Yay, time to fight a fellow wizard. Yay. gonna hurt.
pretty sure that was a sharpened blade. I should have checked before I cast that. Okay, good. It was a sharpened blade. Next round, I get to a food item. Oh no, I don't because I don't get a power pip. It just keeps getting critical after critical. That was easier than I thought it would be. Oh, now you've really done it. You think you won here? You have no idea. You crossed the Cabal. Oh, yeah. You'll hear from us again. I didn't even really expect that to kill in one hit. Okay, that was also. I did not expect that to kill you. <laughs> oh man, that that was just a whole bunch of luck. That really was just a whole bunch of luck. Oh look, you got a critical! Yay, you win. I can see now why people that play PvP only really don't like Critical. It can be incredibly luck based. Or, no, it is incredibly luck based. Oh, Malister's journal. I shudder to think what insanity is expressed within these pages. Nonetheless, any clues regarding the Eye of History? The Cabal. I'm not familiar, but they sound dangerous. A shame Duncan has taken up with them. So the Cabal took the Eye to Mirage? That is very troubling. Probably no coincidence that Mirage is one of the world's spider mentioned. You should consult with your friends at the Arcanum. Perhaps they've heard of this uh, Cabal. And, of course, you should visit Mirage, too. Before you go, however, see your friend Malori near the life school. She's very talented, but uh, she seems unhappy. Perhaps you could cheer her up. I honestly remember that fight being a lot harder in the test realm. Maybe they changed it. Maybe I don't have a video, dude. Darn it. Darn tootin', I don't have no video. I don't have none of the video. Video. I can't I am seeing it, man. Oh, sure. Well, if it isn't 
isn't the most heroic celebrity wizard who ever lived. Seriously, you're all anyone talks about around here. I'm kind of sick of it. Ah, come on. You know I'm kidding, right? It's actually great to see you. I'm learning a lot at Ravenwood, but it's not like Polaris. Remember when we charged into the Sky Anchor and faced down the rat? Now that was living. I miss those days. Where are you off to now? Mirage? No way. Promise you'll tell me all about it. Cool. I can't wait. I'll be here. Don't be a stranger. I think I'm getting close to going into actual Mirage territory. Oh yeah, I have to go talk to Kishma. Or Library fits in first, and then Kishma. It's about time you returned, Initiate. You were supposed to check on the tree, not climb up in its branches and take a nap. Ione's been waiting to hear your report. I'd get in there right away if I were you. She's not exactly known for her patience. Fitzhume say I was impatient? I feel surprised. Do you think I lack patience? Never mind. We don't have time for that. What news from Grandfather Tree? He's worse. I see. The Eye of History? Taken to Mirage by the Cabal? Are you certain? Hmm. I feel perplexed. Yes. I think I have heard of this Cabal. A group of dark wizards. Mysterious. You should go to Mirage, talk to Kizma. Told you. Greetings, Initiate. You seek to travel to Mirage. Might I ask why? The Eye of History is there. Hmm, if true, this might explain a great deal. You must understand, Mirage is a world of constant change, ever-shifting sands. But the last few years have seen a rash of massive sandstorms. And with this, I bid you all farewell for this video, once I finish. More recently, there was a sandstorm of colossal proportions. During the storm, somehow, the world door in Mirage was lost in the sands. You see, the sands of Mirage are unique. They're more than elements in a desert landscape. They are, quite literally, the sands of time. Thus, the world door is lost, not just in space, but in time as well. I believe, however, I've devised a way to reach it and to restore it. I have not yet pinpointed its exact location in the space-time continuum, but this portal can at least get you in the vicinity. Take the portal, 
Find the lost world door where it is buried and use this charm to restore it to its proper time and place. Then return. So, that is it for today. My laptop is starting to burn my stomach from sitting on it. Thank you all for watching. This has been Stefan Frostrider playing... Finishing up the Mirage prequel quest, and we are finally actually getting into Mirage itself in the next video. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. This is Stefan Frostrider signing off.